Have you ever heard of the Ahmadnagar Sultanate? It was a late medieval Indian Muslim kingdom, also known as the Nizam Shahi Sultanate, nestled in the northwestern Deccan. Flanked by the Sultanates of Gujarat and Bijapur, it was helmed by the Nizam Shahi or Bari dynasty. Dive back in time to the year 1490 when the Sultanate came into existence. The architect of this establishment was Malik Ahmed, the Bahmani governor of Junar. After triumphing over the Bahmani army led by General Jahangir Khan on the 28th of May, Malik Ahmed declared independence. He established the Nizam Shahi dynasty rule over the Sultanate of Ahmednagar. Initially, his capital was in the town of Junar with its fort, later renamed Shivnari. However, in 1494, the foundation was laid for the new capital, Ahmadnagar. Fast forward to 1510, Malik Ahmad passed away leaving his seven-year-old son Burhan Nizam Shah I to rule in his stead. During the early days of his reign, the kingdom was managed by Mukamal Khan, an Ahmadnagar official, and his son. Under the guidance of Shah Tahir Husseini, Burhan converted to Shi'i Islam. He passed away in Ahmadnagar in 1553 leaving behind six sons. His successor was Hussein Nizam Shah I. The power dynamics of the region led to the Battle of Talikota in late January 1565. In a strategic alliance, the four Muslim sultanates, Hussein Nizam Shah I and Ali Adil Shah I of Ahmadnagar and Bijapur to the west, Ali Barid Shah I of Bidar in the center, and Ibrahim Kuli Kutba Shah Wali of Golconda to the east united to attack Ali Ramaraya. In 1636, after numerous territorial battles, Aurangzeb, the Mughal viceroy of Deccan, annexed the Sultanate to the Mughal Empire. This marked the end of the Ahmadnagar Sultanate. The Ahmadnagar Sultanate was more than just a kingdom. It was a beacon of culture and learning. Its strategic location made it a pivot in the power dynamics of the time. The annexation by the Mughal Empire didn't just signify the end of the Sultanate, but also marked the beginning of a new chapter in the history of the region. The influence of the Ahmadnagar Sultanate, its culture and power dynamics echo even today in the annals of history.